you live or work near the west end of Greenville, you might be hearing some loud booms for the coming months. Yeah, we're going to be listening for them here at 7 on Main. Rewa started blasting for their Dig Greenville project today. This project is going to expand the sewer line in Greenville, which will sustain it, they say, for the future growth they expect here. Our Erin Rogers has been covering this story from the beginning, and she, of course, joins us live at one of the blast sites there on Westfield Street. Hey, Erin. Hey, Amy, so if you're not too familiar with this area, where I'm standing right now is kind of right behind the Croc Center, right by the Swamp Rabbit Trail. But just beyond this fence right here is where all of the blasting is going on. It'll be a boom and then a, a thud. That sound is what people living near this Dig Greenville site will be getting used to. It's the sound of progress. I know. <laughs> Dan McGarvey and his family live in this apartment complex right across the street from the construction site. So I think it's a positive thing for the city, you know, a little bit inconvenience for us. I guess we're about the closest people to the blast zone here. Today marked the start of blasting for the Reedy River Basin Sewer Tunnel. The blast at the Westfield location will be once per day, two to three times a week through August. Then they'll move to Cleveland Park, all to make way for the 6,700 foot tunnel that will run 100 feet below downtown between the two spots. We won't even know we're there, so that's, that's the goal is to reduce the amount that the public notices we're here. Which is also why the blast will only be between noon and 2 p.m., so it won't affect most people's sleep schedule. We're trying to minimize impacts. But the project is necessary, especially as more development comes to Greenville. This will allow us to, to be able to handle that additional growth and projected growth for the years to come. Right now, the current system, which is filtered through these pipes, is nearly at capacity. It also gives us additional protection against overflows and uh, during wet weather events and, and uh, give, us, uh, give us a more reliable system. This will put us in a lot better position long term. Also, the line will uh, service most of downtown. You can hear some of the construction going on right now, but that line will service most of downtown through Traveler's Rest. And project managers tell me this should sustain the city for the next 100 years to come. Live in Greenville, I'm Aaron Rogers, 7 News. Aaron, thank you.